Obviously, we're not in our place. Where are we? Find out right after this intro screen. Hey, welcome to Super Fruit, the best show on the internet. My name is Scott. My well, my name is Mitch, and, and we have a special guest today, and his name is Tadre. <laughs> that was a magnificent intro. Oh, so, 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 so. <laughs> have a seat. Hello. I love your sweater. Thank you. You're I welcome. love your sweater. Thanks. We are in his wonderful house. And we're obsessed a castle. with it. It's the craziest castle. shit I love all this. over it. There's pirates. There's this. Okay. We'll give you the cribs episode later. That is so <laughs> cute. We should take a selfie really quick, okay. just so we can mark this momentous uh -huh. selfie. Can you show? Ready? One, two. Really adorable. So last time Todd was on the show, we did pet peeves. So we thought this time we would change it up and do pet peeves. Okay. And um, we're just gonna go through and name our biggest pet peeves <laughs> because we have so many. Girl, we, yeah. We had to do a part two because we have way too many. Yeah. yeah. Since the last time I was on the show, a lot of things have been bothering me, and every time something happens, I'm like, ooh, I'm just right here. Someone's gonna do this. Okay, do you want to start? Me? Yeah. Yeah! My first pet peeve that I have to talk about is actually occurring uh, as we speak. But it's like when you cut your cuticle and then the skin just like keeps peeling back and you like try to reach into like a bag <laughs> and it like, like rips all the way up to your shoulder and you're like, ow, this hurts, why won't awesome. this ever heal? Black swan tees. You would almost it's rather like get your arm amputated Absolutely. than have one of those little... A little stinging motherfucker. And I get them all the time. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You should get more manicures. Okay, I don't know why I hate this so much, but every time I call someone and I don't know what phone company it's with, but when they're like, when you're finished leaving, a message, please hang up or stay on the line of like. I know I can. Hang up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you to tell me. <laughs> I hate that. That lady. is really weird. She's <laughs> so her it? redundant ass. And like... you have to keep listening to it, and she's like yeah. that clear eyes voice. That's oh, the worst. When those voicemails that. are like, and then you can press one if you want to start over, or you can press two if you want to leave another you're message. Like, I just want to leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know why I hate this. This is not annoying. I feel like people are getting annoyed at me for saying this is annoying. Okay. Because everyone does this, but for some reason it kind of bothers me. When people don't know what to say in a conversation, so they just compliment something. So they're like, love your watch. Where'd you get that? And they're like, cool. No, I, I can only, <laughs> I can honestly only think of one person that does that. Regina George. Regina George. I low-key kind of just started thinking about all the people that I complimented today, and I was like, are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> Are you coming from me? Right no, now? I feel like I can feel when it's genuine and when it's not genuine. People always tweet me or write on Superfruit comments that I look tired. They're always like, boy, you look so tired. And that is actually not nice. That's actually kind of mean. <laughs> I never take it like, oh, thank you for caring about me. I'm always like, what are you trying to say? I have bags under my eyes. I know, it's genetic, girl. You don't have to let me know because I already know I don't sleep I'm as it is. I'm the star of Raccoon the Musical. I'm the star of Raccoon the Musical. <laughs> People always tell me I look tired. Really? Really? Let's a lot of way. I just came out of hibernation for three months. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, sorry. I have so many pet peeves. Oh my gosh. Did you realize that I was in I hate when people are like, oh my gosh, if you need anything tomorrow, I'm totally free. And they're like, actually, I need you. And they're like, I'm not free till one. And I kind of have a gig at like three. So, so I need to leave at 2 30. So. I don't like that either. And then when, you, when they're supposed to show up at one, they're like, hey, it's like 1 15. They're like, do you need anything from Starbucks? And they totally think they're being helpful. I'm like, Bitch, you were supposed to be here. <laughs> so, I know I need you That's to get so you. Yeah. It's like what you just said, though. People are complimenting you, whatever. They're saying, if you need anything, but right. then you're like, actually, I need a couple yeah. of things. And they're like, all right. Yeah, like, can I get you water? And you're like, yeah, please, that'd be great. And they're like, oh, okay, well, we only have uh, tap, and I have to put it in this dirty mug. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pet peeve. When you go to people's house, they're like, do you want some water? And then there's like little possibly budding tadpoles in there. <laughs> And then you don't want to drink it, but you don't want to be rude or ungrateful. Yeah, just wait that's for just evaporate. dirty. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> when you're telling a story and someone interrupts accidentally and they're like, Oh, sorry, sorry, you were telling a story. And then they can they continue yes. talking. And then you're like, okay. Oh, that like, is sorry, so, sorry, so rude. I hate when people do that. When you're talking and someone's like, actually, I think, and then they keep going. It's they even worse when they apologize. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm but so whenever sorry, I was like... <laughs> so one of my, um, this is like a really gross one, but when people... Um, sneeze and they don't cover their mouths and then you smell their sneeze. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly. I smell that pickle juice. The Ew! Way too often. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so sick. It's the sickest thing ever and I'm like, please, why? Smelling burps is the worst. They always smell like beefy. Sometimes burps are hot. They're hot. Do you like it? No, no, not. I mean, they're like, like literally temperature. I'm like, 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 like
<laughs> this yeah, is my nose is melting off. Okay, um, <laughs> I hate, you guys have probably already said this, but I hate when people sing happy birthday and they just start in like the highest key and it's like <laughs> almost like 20 times out of 20 that people change keys. And like, oh my god, always. Don't be too confident. Why yeah. people be in all different keys and it just sounds like this? And, every, and no us. one's concerned, everyone's <laughs> like, happy birthday. Okay. This is obvious, this is everyone's pet peeve, but I hate it so much when people wear sunglasses inside. Oh. I really do. I, I was just talking so about that, that's the worst. So those are our pet peeves. Hope you oh really wait, we have some important business Oh yeah. Now. Wait just a second, I'll be right black. <laughs> can we just talk about this dog for one second? I don't even know what to make of it, to be honest. I feel like they can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so little. <laughs> and she's just so white. So. Look at her. <laughs> Hashtag team light skin. That's my dog. <laughs> This is my new dog, and when I bought her, her name was Lolly, and while that's cute, I'm looking for something original, something different, something with a punch, yes. something that's just out of the ordinary. Like Todrick. Yes. So it's a girl, she has a lot of spunk, she has a lot of energy, like her dad, and um, I'm looking for a name, a cute, creative name. So, um, if you have a cute name that you would like to, um, look at that bestow. face. Oh, I can't oh. <laughs> Yeah, if you have a name that you would like to bestow on my sweet, beautiful little... Lily, Lolly, what's her name? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna crush her between our bodies. Please leave it in the comments below because I will be reading. I'm looking for a name and I want it to be cute and different. And now it's time for our weekly obsessions. Yeah. Megan Trainer, her songs are so cute, and if you're into that hairspray realness, that 50s chew up. <laughs> Thing, you need to download her EP because it's so cute. Dear future husband, title, your lips are moving. She has so many good songs. That's my weekly obsession. Stand. My weekly obsession is Todrick's dog. Unknown name right now. Right. <laughs> because you're gonna decide. The Pokemon unknown. What's your regular obsession? My weekly obsession is I got a new phone. It's look how huge it is. Six it's champagne plus, color. It's the iPhone 6 Plus. I'm loving it. McDonald's. Everyone here's a good song to listen to anything else today. today. My favorite song right now <laughs> is Santa Tell Me by Ariana Grande. Okay. I have been listening to it on repeat. It's so good. It's so much fun and a big choir comes in at the end and I'm just like I love that. How are you again? Like, what, Stevie Wonder? You're just like... <laughs> What's your song of the week? Mine. Oh, really? said Megan Train. Megan Train. Okay. My song of the week is from our Christmas album, That's Christmas to Me, and it's called Sugar Plum Fairy, Dance Of. Um, and, <laughs> <laughs> and the video just came out today, so definitely go check that out. Yeah, Whoa! Uh, on the doggy. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Love you, guys. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>